Uh, so competition is everywhere, right? And uh, in the content business, there's space for everyone because there's so much of work. It's a like billion, multi-billion dollar industry. So uh, how do we make sure that we have a competitive edge? There are two things. One is quality, and other one is pricing. So these are the two things that you know that are really strong at a part and uh, that help us deliver really great content. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Startup Story Spotlight. Uh, this is your host Abdul Wahid, a platform where we invite entrepreneurs, investors to share their journey with us. Today we have with us Ms. Prithvi Jain from Velpo Labs, a company that offers content services to startups and other industries also. Uh, and she will be uh, sharing her journey with us today. Uh, it is a pleasure having you with us Ms. Prithvi Jain. Uh, please tell the audience about your backstory, how you started this uh, startup and how it is helping other industries grow in their content journeys and other social media activities. Please tell uh, the audience. We'll be delighted to know from you. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Abdul, for having me here. Thank you so much. And yeah, I started this company back in 2017 in March. Uh, at that time, I was researching a lot because I wanted to start something. And I came across this industry which sounded really interesting uh, to me because there was a very big white space in India. So uh, there were very few big players in the localization industry at that point of time. And uh, so I saw that as an opportunity because as uh, the economy is changing and the businesses are changing, there are so many e-commerce companies out there who want to reach out to people in villages, in tier two, tier three cities, everywhere where language is the main barrier, which holds them back. So this barrier comes uh, across like this barrier is with everybody all across the world. And so I thought of starting this company as a localization company, initially starting with about 40 languages that will deliver services in. And uh, yeah, from that time onwards, we have been growing the number of languages. We started the content vertical and now we work on content creation, content production and uh, localization services as well. So in this, like we have voiceovers, dubbing, we have content writing, we have animation, designing and also localization. It is very nice the way you explained your uh, backstory. The audience would have learned a lot. Moving on to the next section, uh, the, my question to you would be, uh, what are the services offered by Volvo Labs and how it is helping the startups in the industry and other uh, industries like pharmaceutical, manufacturing? Uh, because these uh, sectors do not use that much of content uh, marketing strategies. So how do you help them out and these niche industries which are not into, uh, how do you help these industries uh, grow uh, on their content uh, and social media activities now? Okay, sure. So when when you talk about any company, be it any company, they want to reach out to people across the world, touch the lives of, you know, billions of people out there. And how do you do that? Through content. So if you have to reach out to any person uh, who's having headache and you want to sell a medicine to him, how do you tell them? through a video, through a print advertisement or through some storyline or through some, you know, promotional other ways of promotional content. So yeah, it's, it's always a content that is used to convey a message, right? So even if it's manufacturing, even it's, if it's pharma for in, internal learning purposes, for training of your employees, how to, you know, manufacture the things, how to take care of your, uh, the equipments and all that, be it for advertising for uh, the customers, be it marketing, uh, be it banners, ads, Google ads, uh, be it content writing uh, for utilizing the SEO. So everywhere, everywhere, it's the content that is used. And if you want to you know reach out to people uh, you know uh, through to other countries so definitely localization also comes in wherein you want to reach out to their own native language you can't you know speak a language that they don't understand then it won't make any sense 
so you have to speak their language so for that localization is something that comes in so if we talk about services yes we provide localization we do voiceovers and dubbing we do animation we do graphic designing desktop publishing and uh, like typesetting and uh, we also do a plus content which is mostly used for amazon and all those uh, platforms uh it is a very nice that you have explained all the services and how you are breaking uh the growing uh, growing industries that because there are many startups uh, who are offering these services i feel according to me uh how have you break that domestic edge and entered the global market uh, and how these services are uh, you providing to the global star, uh, global companies and startups which are uh, which are coming up uh, in different uh, parts of the world according to you sure. so competition is everywhere right and uh, in the content business there's space for everyone because there's so much of work it's a like billion multi billion dollar industry so uh, how do we make sure that we have a competitive edge there are two things one is quality and other one is pricing so these are the two things that you know that are really strong at a part and uh, that help us deliver really great content and at very affordable prices uh i feel that uh, all the services that you are offering now is very nice and there are many services in the industry that you are offering uh when was the proud moment that you felt by offering these services uh and you felt very happy that the the companies that you are helping are reaching their goals and their objectives are also uh re- are help uh, to reached by your company you are helping in that goal. what was the proud recognition and what was the proud moment that you feel you have helped them achieve in their uh, goals and objectives sure so uh, initially you know when i started out started with very small ticket size uh, for the customers uh, you know and later on slowly we kept growing our team so first uh, proud moment was when our team size grew to 25 so that was a moment when you know uh, i felt like okay there are like 25 strong people in our team and the second time when we uh, got an opportunity from the government of india to uh, showcase our startup at the dubai expo in uh, 2020 so 2021 so that was another thing and uh, the third thing was uh, when we got an opportunity to Uh, you know we were one of the five startups that got an opportunity to represent india at a cannes film fest cannes film festival last year so that was in 2022 so that was a proud moment and uh, only five startups were there so we were one of those and uh, we were able to meet a lot of people out there producers directors actors so yeah it was it was really nice so that was really felt like an achievement to me the audience is delighted to know about that you attended a cannes film festival because it's a festival that everyone admires and dreams to be in uh what are the experiences uh at global events you feel that people can learn and you might have learned because last year i guess you visited mipcom uh, which is a global event and uh, this year we are having mipcam uh, in france and uh, we are also having webcom this year so what are the learnings that uh, and the expectations that you have from these global events because there's a lot of networking that goes into there's a lot of adrenaline rush rush and excitement everyone has because not not everyone gets this chance to be and and you uh, uh, because you were recognized by the government of india and you had the opportunity to visit cannes film festival meeting directors so how was that experience run the audience would love to know about it. Sure, it was really good. I mean, we were able to meet the ministers also, and uh, you know, also pitch in I our idea to different people. So that was really good. And last year we visited for Mipcom. I met a lot of people, and it was all, you know, running all the time. So basically, one meeting is there, then another meeting is there. So it was all time like. catching up with people meeting so many people and i'm just delighted that uh, at least from india side whoever were there like at the india pavilion i already knew about 50% of the people and now when i'm going for mip tv i'm sure that i'll be knowing about 90% of people already so yeah that's that's the brand recognition you build by going uh, to all these uh, global events and platforms so that's a good thing and expectations yes uh, we don't keep our expectations very high 
high from any event so it just you know networking that we expect it's just meeting people you know each other and what's going on and of course if some business trickles in that's a plus point